Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. What a great night's sleep last night it was. It was so comfortable. I'll show you guys where I slept. But yeah, I just pretty much had this whole apartment to myself. Um, the guys, they live upstairs there. I slept in this room here, just on this bed. Anyway, it was a perfect night's sleep. I've created quite a mess in this little spare apartment. We're doing breakfast at the moment. We've got our oats ready and I'm just boiling some water. And yeah, pretty much, um, I'm going to enjoy that out the front there. I'll show you guys out there. Apparently there is an alternative route that we can ride along like beach area and stuff like that. So I'm going to just ask for a few more details in regards to that trail and see where that goes. And we might take that. But eventually we're going to have to get back on that A1 highway again. And then, yeah, from there, yeah, we'll see what happens. So this is the front. It's pretty crazy. At this roundabout yesterday, there was a guy or someone driving that cut the inside of the intersection while someone was going around the outside. But apparently that's normal. After they got robbed, his mate, his mate piped out and went home. Just gave up on that. Gave up yeah. on it and this bloke kept on going. And um, yeah, so I ended up watching it from that, you know, and he only video blogged. Basically, they stole his video camera and all that sort of stuff oh, from... Bugger. Yeah. So he couldn't afford another one until some time. And yeah. Wow. Oh, well, he did Australia. Hmm. Mm. It looked like Cairns or Sydney to yeah. Perth. Yeah. Something like that. Hmm. New Guinea crossing the bridge. Hmm. Kabul. Hmm. Look at his bike. <laughs> and you said it broke eventually or something. Hmm. Had to weld it, yeah. He's a geography teacher. Yeah. Back out on the same road eventually. Yeah, okay. So it depends if you want to look at another beach or two. Yeah, so that... Hello, Cody. All right. Great to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much. Yeah. See ya. That's the problem. I'd love to stay. That's the problem, like, with settling down here and just staying for a little bit. I'd love to stay for longer, but just with the nature of, like, bicycle touring and wanting to get around the country, I'm glad I just keep moving. It's a little unfortunate. I would love to stay with this awesome family for a bit longer, but unfortunately, I think we're just gonna have to hit the road again. So that's the plan. I'm currently um, just working through this mess of stuff that I have here at the moment, and I'm gonna repack it on Surly, and then we should be good to go. Alrighty, ready to get back on the road again. Bike is packed up, and I have some space for some grocery shopping, so I might uh, go to the Woolies that's just up the road here and we'll get some food. Okay, bye. So I've made my way out of Tung Curry and taken a turn off the main road to pass a tip that's up here. And this tip road, I believe, along some beaches and things, but then eventually we have to get back on that road that I've just turned off, so. It's just a bit of a detour, just to get off the main road. Saves having to put up with the noisy traffic and the real tight shoulders and things, and it's just a bit safer. So, we're just, uh, we're just riding the dirt trail. It's really awesome. I'm getting pumped up on some awesome vibes. got some beach up here um, I think this is the road where the cars come in I just come from that way so I'm gonna probably head out that way and get back on that road that road that I was just on before so off that road we've just popped back into I think this town's called Blackhead something Blackhead Beach and um, we've got some stunning views of the beach here just found a rest area we're back on the main A1 and yeah just stopped here for some lunch now I'm pretty much ready to get back on the road again so we're gonna get back on this A1 and just probably ride the A1 for the rest of the day. It's got a nice big shoulder but a lot of traffic but it's still a nice big shoulder so it's pretty good. I'm getting invaded by the locals again. 
that iron off my peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> so I realized I uh, kind of missed the turn off to take like the National Parkway and get off this highway. Let me show you guys. But I was gonna get off here and take this road along, along the Crowdy Bay National Park. But I've missed the bloody turn off. And I'm not sure if I can turn around because there's like just fencing and it's real dangerous to cross. This is pretty crappy so the road I was going to take which is out that way. They all have private property, no trespassing signs up. And I don't want to freaking go on them but he's where the road's supposed to be but it looks like it goes, in, goes into someone's house. Just go to queue and then cut through there. It's more of a stuff around but it's better than having to turn around and ride like... 10 k's back the way I've already come so okay guys change of plans I just realized there is a tavern just up the road called John's River Tavern they offer a free stay it's only three and a half k's from here it's just up the road so I'm gonna hop back on there and we're gonna go to this tavern so I made it to the tavern it's over there but it seems to be closed for renovation and this I think is the camp area so uh yeah and there's also free Wi-Fi too. But um, they've got the gates closed over at the tavern over there. I'd show you guys, I should have showed you guys while I was over there. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, Apparently the owner lives there too, so I'm just gonna see if I can get a glimpse of the owner and uh, say g'day and stuff. And I ended up heading just up the road to the toilets from a free camp place that I'll be staying at tonight, considering it's still pretty early, ticking over about five-ish. Found a nice little spot here. I think it's like the community hall. So I'm just chilling under this area here. And I found uh, PowerPoints and they work, so I'm gonna charge. Edit session done. But check out the hole in my cycling pants, shorts that I've been wearing. Just ripped the new one. And I've got more holes coming through there too. Ah, I'm just gonna continue wearing them. It is getting a little late, so I'm gonna head over to this tavern and get set up with camp tonight. But yeah, this is probably going to be the first time I'm going to end a vlog on the bike. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure, hang on, maybe I've already done this before. Give me a thumbs up. Comments down below. Make sure you've also hit the subscribe button. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. There's always someone, yeah? That's sweet. Pop the spot, eh? <laughs> That's cool, yeah. I don't know why. It's only cool. Yeah. So I just met up with um, these, these guys over here who are caravanning to Sydney and um, yeah, they offered me some dinner for tonight, which is pretty cool. What a way to end the night. I was playing, doing a bit of bow and arrow as you saw before with um, Eddie, the local, just lives just up the road there. Bloody hell, I love bicycle touring. Meet so many awesome people. Got puppy, yes. Literally picnic under the cherry blossoms. Oh yeah. I told Alan one time we were going through some in Tokyo.